Hi, my name is Alex with Ape Tech Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be talking about the tragic death of Clone Epic Template. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like if you get any value, or if you just want to remorse with me. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. I really do want to know, were you using Clone Epic Template? It was a free plugin and is now defunct and we're gonna be talking about it today. I wanna to know in the comment section if you're impacted by this, let me know. Okay, so I wanted to start off here by basically showing you a message that I was greeted to pre pretty much Monday morning and that is clone epic template will be discontinued. The app will be discontinued on August 4th, 2022. Now, they make a recommendation that you use deep clone for Jira. This is an okay recommendation it is a much more powerful, much more popular tool, but it's also expensive. And so if you haven't caught on by now, I love the Clone Epic template because it was free and you can't beat free, but unfortunately when things are free, you can't control their, their outcome. And now the Clone Epic template is no more. Uh, in, a, in a few weeks, this amazing, amazing, amazing plugin will be dead and we're all going to be forced to essentially go pay for a new plugin to be able to do cloning. Now, you may be asking yourself, Alex, I can clone in Jira. What's the big deal? It's free. It's built in. Not quite, my friend. So this particular cloning, cloning epics, it's so useful. It's epic. You can copy project configurations and you can clone Jira issues. But you have, have you ever wanted to clone an epic? And a lot of the teams that I work with, we have set up our projects in such a way that you can take your epic, the children of that epic, and the children of those children, which is essentially your subtasks, and create these beautiful templates that you can reuse and like carbon copy all the work over and over and over. Because many of the teams that I work with, they do repetitive work. It's not always use snowflake stories. They have these epics and these same stories that they're consistently doing quarter to quarter, month to month, sprint to sprint. And whatever the reason is, we were really, really using this to clone and just save time. And it's super, super easy to use. As you can see, it's a free app that allows you to clone an epic along with its issues and subtasks. It would reset the, the statuses back to to do. And there were some limitations. It wasn't the best, but it would save hours of time. Cloning Epics allows you to standardize your processes. That improves productivity, assures compliance, and allows you to implement the best practices across the board. So this was a great tool. And I reached out to them on Twitter to find out what happened. I haven't gotten a response, but I am very, very sad that this tool has died. Now, the replacement, their recommendation to go to Deep Clone, and here it is. Um, it's got 65 reviews. It's a pretty good plugin. I've used it in the past briefly, but it is pretty powerful. It also removes some of the limitations that Epic Clone Template had, but it was free. And now, even though I can do it for free, but let's just take a look at what it's going to cost for, for a company that maybe has a hundred users, a couple hundred users. Let's see if we can go and find the, the pricing here. Okay, so depending on how many users are in your organization, you'll notice that this thing has 5,782 installs. Uh, the price is free for up to 10 users, which is great for me because I'll be able to do uh, demonstrations since I have a team of one Jira instance. But if you had 150 users, now you're looking at $132 a month or $1,700 a year. If you have 1,000 users, you're looking at now a $5,000 investment based on something that was completely free in the past, right? So if you have 2,000 users, $8,000. So this is a dramatic increase that... I just I don't understand why they would kill something off uh, that was so useful, so beneficial, and completely free. Now, if anybody knows what happened, I'd I'd love to know. Um, Hero coders, if you're watching this, uh, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, man, this was um, this was a great tool. Now, I, a lot of my teams are gonna have to go and pay a good amount of money to use another tool that yeah, it does everything you used to do, but and it gives me a little bit more. But man, that. That price is going to come in at a, at a substantial payment. So anyways, I just wanted to talk about this because this this to me is it's just it's it's a very sad day, very sad news and just something that now I got to go figure out how do we clone epics without breaking the bank either. So anyways, 
I know it's a little bit of a somber video, but hope you enjoyed it. If you're using Deep Clone um, for Jira, maybe you're already paying for it. I'm going to start using it now because I'm obviously I'm forced into it. But if you've been using it, I'd love to know your thoughts about it. If you've been using um, the Epic Clone template and this is the first time you're hearing about it, I want to know about it too. Let me know in the comment section below. But uh, hopefully, hopefully something can happen here. They are offering 50% off which, so for the first year. So there's that. But I, I suspect... I suspect that that uh, this Deep Clone for Jira or some other company bought them out, or or maybe fingers crossed, Atlassian is coming out with like a Deep Clone functionality, and they just they told them to get off the marketplace because you can't even look up uh, the the Deep Clone template. So, anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. I know it wasn't the most exciting of a video, but I just wanted to share with you that uh, this is just horrible news, and and it sucks when this happens, and. And um, yeah, anyways, I'll see you in the next one.